Okay, YouTube, on my way to that big job I was mentioning in the last video, a friend of mine with, I, I don't know how many trees it is, more than 10. Uh, luckily, I'm not taking the biggest ones because there's no way I can handle them. Uh, but we've already dropped four trees and cut them up. And right now, I've got the tractor and trailer with the grapple. And we're gonna load up the trailer today and clean it up a little bit and maybe cut a little bit more. But uh, there's a lot of wood here. I'm guessing, I mean, right now at least three trailer loads. It's gonna be more. So anyway, uh, we get there, we're gonna fire up the tractor and start loading. All right, we're here. There's the mess. Ready to clean it up? How many trees we got down, four? Four trees and I just cut down that one this okay, morning. Okay, so that's five. Yeah. Yeah, that's at least a load <laughs> yeah. or more. So, so uh, in this area, we got what, three more trees, two dead ones yeah. and that one live one. Oh boy. And that's it. And then the other big ones that guy's gonna come and take out, so. Cool. All right, let's start loading and you keep cutting. We're ready to go. Cool. Biggest one.
friends, this is where um, I put the drone up. I've already filled the trailer and we're going to cut down some more trees. This next tree is a dead ash tree. Now, here it is. You can see the tie line connected to it, the tow rope, to keep it from falling back. And the drone's just flying into place. And um, you can see here, it's not big compared to the other trees. But it's sizable. I mean, it, it's bigger than what you, you can see in this video. And it is dead. It has been dead for a long time. There's nothing in the top of it. It's right there in the center of the screen. And um, when you've got a dead tree like that, you really don't know what to expect in the bottom, which is, of course, why we tied it off. We don't want it to fall. Now, you can see the lean there. It leans back, and it leans to what is screen right, um, which would be... Uh, you know, it's 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 safe. It's not it's not going to fall back on the driveway. It's not going to fall back on me when I'm cutting it. Um, that tie rope is uh, good and strong, and it's it's going to keep it from going where we don't want it to go. Luckily, uh, at at Paul's house there, there's really you know besides behind him, we don't want to crack up the driveway, um, and it's far enough from any structures and houses and everything. So, one thing that uh, is different here is um, he put his uh, uh, come along in the center of the rope um, usually that's at the end of the rope where he can pull on it more uh, but he had plenty of tension on it and if that tree was gonna fall it was gonna fall well it was supposed to fall <laughs> towards towards the tire on um, anyway so this is the part where uh, the drone decides to uh, crash and uh, we're gonna cut right here and get to that next so here I'm cutting the bottom of the tree and and the wind is start to kick up a little bit um, it's I don't know I thought that drone could could hold position but obviously the wind is easing it over ever so slightly and I'm not paying attention to it I mean I'm just putting the drone up there and and I'm, I'm cutting a tree, I'm not going to pay attention to the drone. I mean, you know, life and limb, haha, <laughs> limb, are more important than a drone. So anyway, here it goes, getting closer and closer to the tree next to it. And uh, now you're going to start seeing, as it makes a little bit of contact with some leaves, it's like, uh, like some kind of a shredder. <laughs> it starts um, shredding the tree there. Little pieces of leaves are going, and it's over now. It's done. It's going to get caught. I'm surprised it lasted that long, and down she goes. So there goes the drone. Now, back to the cutting. So I am working away at the bottom of this tree, and I know it's a dead tree. I know there's not going to be a lot of uh, confidence in the holding wood as to pushing that thing forward. Um, once again, uh, do things the way you know how to do that come along should have been at the end of the rope Paul Does it that way all the time. We both have knocked down several trees in our lives We know what we're doing should have done it the way we knew what we were doing anyway, so now I'm gonna start Looking at this tree and it should be falling at this point. It should be should be at least making some some movement and I look up and just waiting for it to, and I'm, I'm just pecking away at it there, just a little, and, and I'm checking over on that side to see how much holding wood I have. I want to leave it on that side because, as you can tell, the lean was going, oh, and there goes the drone. <laughs> anyway, um, so anyway, now at this point, I, I really don't have much left. I should have stopped. That's what I should have done. I should have stopped. We should have uh, pulled on that rope. We should have done something. I could have gotten the tractor behind the tree and pushed it. We should have pushed the tree over. At this point, it should have gone. But I'm going to think, hey, maybe if I take a little bit more of this, now I'm really checking how much, and guess what? Here it goes. And my saw is still right there on the ground. Brand new 500i. And the tree falls right over. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I tried to grab the saw for a second there, but there was no getting it. I got out of the way. You got debris falling better to be safe you can replace property but you can't uh, replace yourself so that one went sideways not the way we wanted it here comes Paul picking up the drone hey 
Oh, back at it. That's the way it goes. All right, this is day three of the uh, massive tree project here. We got a pile ready to go. Gonna just load that in the trailer, get it done fast today, cut some more, and get it ready for tomorrow. Let's get to it. about that boy that yeah so YouTube so I was aiming that way and that broke off at the very last second and turned it that way which is why we wanted to lay it there and we aimed it there Here's the
right, this one. This sucker. I don't know if you can see here. Let me stand. If this is straight, it wants to go to my right here. And we got to get it past. We got to get it past that tree on the road or my left now. So we got it tied off, which is good. Keep it going that direction. But I'm going to have to aim it that way in order to get it to fall that way.
to see what she's doing. All of a sudden, I was like, I was only getting one click at time. Now it's getting three, and I'm like, she's close. And I click, click, click. That went perfectly through that crotch right there. Yeah, I mean, it just like barely caught those branches, which it had to. Awesome. And it was it was aiming there. The same thing, it's the exact same thing. Awesome. At the last second there, you we hit it. this side, bring it back over where we wanted it to land. Yeah. I'd be getting around that. Yeah. There. Yeah. Well, that was the last bit of it right there. And this right here is my last cut. That's yeah. where I steered it back the other way and use that to bring it back. Just that little tiny bit. And it went right where <laughs> you're sitting down. Your, the adrenaline is just killing you. <laughs>